Hello, my lovelies. I hope you're all well. Um, absolute craziness going on in the world right now. Um, if you are familiar at all with Scotland and Scottish politics, you will know that the controlling party is the SNP. That's the Scottish National Party. They've been in control for some years and um, they have fully embraced the woke culture and taken it to new heights that uh, we haven't seen yet in England um, or perhaps other places in the world. Um, but this story sort of piqued my interest. So I thought that I would bring it to your attention too, because why not share the love? Um, so <laughs> this is insane. Male friends who discuss their sex lives loudly in public could be jailed for seven years in Scotland. So this is, <clears throat> as I said, insane. Um, so apparently this is um, Scotland's aim of criminalising misogyny, right? So new laws being proposed in Scotland could lead men to be jailed for up to seven years if they discuss their sex lives slash conquests with their friends loudly in a public place. So if <laughs> there's a group of lads talking about their sex lives in a bar, um and you overhear them, you could report them to the police and get them jailed for seven years. Doesn't that sound lovely and progressive? It's one of the new crimes which has been proposed in a consultation published by the Scottish government with the aim of criminalising misogyny in Scotland. I mean, just men talking about their sex lives is misogyny now, right? Um... <clears throat> To mark International Women's Day, the SNP want to create five new laws designed to outlaw abusive and humiliating behaviour by men. This level of control is unprecedented and disturbing, to say the least. So they would target only males, with females not being put under the same scrutiny. It is claimed that laddish behaviour stops women from fully participating in society. A new offence called misogynistic behaviour would mean that an offender would not have to directly address the opposition sex to be found guilty. So just you talking about the opposite sex, if you're a dude. <laughs> the crime includes them watching pornography where others could see it or have loud graphic sexual conversations about women in a public place where they can be heard by others. I don't... <clears throat> The, um, oh, just the double standards, you know, there are, there are tons of women sat on podcasts talking about their conquests, but that's absolutely fine because they want women hypersexualized, but for men to be hypersexualized is somehow misogynistic and toxic. Um, it, it just beggars belief. It really does. Um, <clears throat> Views are being sought by the Scottish government on what sanctions should be handed out to those guilty of offences like this, with the maximum punishment being proposed being seven years imprisonment. I mean, people get less for manslaughter. This is like, is this peak woke? Have we reached peak woke yet where people are going to fight back? Because honestly, this is a joke, right? This has to be a joke. And let's not forget that the SNP... <clears throat> have just lost their, their leader, Nicola Sturgeon, because of her woke policies, right? So she's been forced to step down because she's an absolute horror. But that doesn't stop them. It hasn't stopped them. I'm just, I'm absolutely flabbergasted by this. The criminal offences would be triggered in cases where the perpetrator perceives their victim to be a woman, irrespective of as to the victim's sex or gender. So again, this just, so this could be men against men, but if one says they're a woman, then that's misogyny. <laughs> Another proposed new crime would be misogynistic harassment, which would make it illegal for men to shout sexually abusive remarks at a woman in the street or use abusive language to a girl who does not want to be chatted up. All right. <sighs> 
So in some respects, I kind of understand them wanting to stop the catcalling thing and um, like girls getting harassed in bars and that when they're clearly not interested. But, oh, it's just such a double standard, isn't it? Because it's like, like what girls perceive as fine and what girls perceive as creepy generally depends on whether or not they find the male attractive who is approaching them. Um, Because you could have... Uh, a man who is very attractive approaching a girl in the bar um, and chatting her up and that's fine but then an unattractive man uses exactly the same language and techniques but he's creepy because the girl doesn't find him attractive so that would then be harassment uh, under this law Um, this is to help stop harassment of females at pubs and nightclubs and also to curb wolf whistles being being performed to girls walking down the street Um, yeah I mean the wolf whistle thing uh, that's that's again is very subjective because some women find it flattering and others find it offensive um i don't necessarily agree that men should be going woo like shouting stuff out to women walking down the street and especially not girls because here's a little story for you here's an anecdote um <clears throat> when i was in uh, secondary school so that's high school for any americans watching um we used to do uh, cross country runs and we would have to go off the school grounds um, to a park across the road. This meant uh, running down the side of a dual carriageway. And we were, bear in mind, like 13, 14 years old. And there would be cars beeping because they made us run in these little running knickers, um, which are barely like hot pants. Um, and we would get beeped. And I found that very disturbing. Um the fact that we were young girls and and dudes were doing that 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 wasn't good but um yeah so let's continue other examples of this crime would include deliberately rubbing up against a woman in a crowded place or showing porn to a female i mean if she wants to watch it then she can watch it um the the deliberately rubbing up against women is something that that has happened for donkeys years again Uh, I used to live in London, Um, that was my last tour when I was in the RAF, and yeah, you would get men rubbing up on you in the the underground, which is the subway train system in London. Um, The the worst one I had was I went out for my lunch, and it was an unusually quiet day on the street, Um, and I was walking down to to one of the cafes to get something to bring back to the office, and um, there was a guy walking towards me. Bear in mind, it's a very wide pavement there in, in London on that road. And um, he was sort of veering towards me. So I naturally sort of started veering the other way. Um, but he continued veering towards me until he bumped into me and ran his hand up my thigh. And I was shocked. I was really shocked. I was not expecting it. So I didn't actually say or do anything because I was just in shock um, at that time. Um, But in my opinion, that is an actual offence. But some of this stuff is just bad manners, I would say. Uh, I don't think it should be a criminal offence. Another new offence of stirring up hatred against women and girls could be brought in to protect them from incel male supremacist bloggers or Andrew Tate style personalities. I I take I take um umbrage to this because Andrew Tate does not stir up hate against women. Like he said many times he loves women. Um these people obviously haven't watched any of his content and are just looking at the um, the little clips that they see on TikTok. Making rape, sexual assault or disfigurement threats against females would also become a specific crime due to a rise in online abuse directed towards the fairer sex. Um, does that extend to JK Rowling? Because she gets a lot of those type of threats. Um, so would it also apply to her and to other and to women on the right side of politics or is it just women on the left side of politics that this will be protecting <clears throat> the consultation is based on a report written by baroness kennedy of the shores i actually have some uh, ancestry in the shore clan um who was paid a thousand pounds a day by the taxpayer 
to conduct an investigation into misogyny north of the border. It was published last year and argued that men perpetrated daily abuses which blight the lives of women. She urged women to take part in the consultation. All right. There are aspects of society that um, are not great as a woman. Um, Every single woman I have ever spoken to about um, stuff like this has had at least one instance of something happening to her where she has been physically touched, like I described, um, perhaps a man rubbing up against her in the underground, etc. Um, I once had a, a guy put his hand up my skirt in a, in a bar. Um, and stuff like that, I, I don't think should happen. Um, but I, I worry about the, the lengths that these kind of laws go to. Um, I just wa- I, I just think it's governmental overreach, you know. Um, I just think it's much better for society as a whole to, to shun that kind of behaviour rather than making it against the law, if you know what I mean. Um, Keith Brown, the SNP's Justice Secretary, said women and girls are routinely humiliated, touched, groped, undermined, trolled and objectified both online and off and subject to threats, harassment and abuse about their looks or desirability stopping them from fully participating in society. Um, Yes and no. I don't think... um, Obviously, you don't want to be touched without your permission and and stuff like that. Uh, They objectified both online and off. I think they... I think a lot of women objectify themselves online and off. Um, because, Because we know that you get a certain form of privilege from being attractive, right? Uh, we know that. I mean, just look at all the Hollywood celebs. You know, they some some are very talented actors, but would they be where they are if they weren't also beautiful, you know? <clears throat> Although there are already a range of laws that can be used to prosecute aspects of misogynistic harassment and abuse, these do not accurately identify the particular harm caused by misogyny. Right. So you've just said there's already a range of laws in place that could tackle this behaviour. So you do not need another law, right? And you also do not need to be spending a £1,000 a day of taxpayers' money to a baroness for consulting on said matter. That is a gross misuse of public money. They also fail to adequately respond to problems faced by women. What are you talking about? Yes, there are things in society that are bad for women. There are things in society that are bad for men. And by putting these laws and stuff into place, you are making things a hell of a lot worse for men. Do you not realise that? I mean, we've already got it where um, men don't want to approach women in bars and stuff because they're absolutely terrified of, of this stuff. And then you've got the gym thoughts as well. Like trying to film them, trying to film blokes watching them and stuff so that they can get clicks and likes. It's just, honestly, society, I I give up. I give up. I'm just glad I'm married at this point because if there is, <clears throat> if there is any group in society that are put upon right now, it is straight men. Like, do you agree or do you not agree? Straight men have it the hardest at the moment. They are told that they're not allowed to have an opinion. They are told that they're not allowed to have sexual urges. They are told they're not allowed to talk to their friends about having said sexual urges or actually being able to have sex with a girl. And girls are being told, be as promiscuous as possible. Where the hell does this leave us? So what you're going to have is um, girls being told to be overly promiscuous, sleeping with the same small percent of men that, generally speaking, are assholes and are not afraid of approaching. Um, they're creating more um, incels with this uh, this sort of thing. They're like pitting sexes against each other. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Um 
<clears throat> Shall we have a look at the comments? There's only six, so it won't take long, because this is just the Scottish... Um, I have in the past worked with a lot of women, and I can assure you at lunch breaks their patter does more than turn the air blue. Watch them on hen nights. Innocent banter? Hardly. Exactly. Exactly. How much more nonsense do we have to listen to from the <laughs> shitty nutter party? We need to get rid of this idiotic government before Scotland turns into a mini China. While we worry about getting medical, how we... W I don't know what they're talking about. Um, wow. I think that's what the Scottish government want. They want to be a mini China, don't they? And they want to... Um, they want independence so they can rejoin the EU. But they want to keep sterling currency. Which they would not be allowed to. Okay. Uh, if you replace the word Scottish government with North Korea, you would still shake your head in disbelief at this policy. Beggars believe that SNP slash green politicians are spending their time coming up with this utter nonsense. I can see the sketch on TV. What are you in for, mate? I told my pals what I did last weekend and got seven years. Exactly. It's ridiculous. SNP would have to ban half of TV and film content. Censorship madness. Not like there's anything else on the priority list that needs their attention. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I would love to know, right, if you are in Scotland, what your thoughts are on this and on the SNP in general. I would be really interested to know. Um, God, it's a travesty, isn't it? Hmm. But anyway, let me know your thoughts. And uh, I'll see you very soon.